guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode one. I was about to fuck up. Of season three of Pretty Derby. Honestly, I still cannot believe we're, we're into season three because it feels like we just got season two, like, very recently and such. And so now I'm thinking, because we know how season one and season two went. And I feel like season three is going to focus on the two girls who are specifically fans of What's Her Face and such and their journey. Um, and maybe like, you know, some conflict here and there because, you know, horse girls got to have that conflict. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. So I'm honestly thinking like special week and the rest of them are not showing up. Maybe. I could be wrong. The last one. <laughs> I will say their CGI has definitely gone up. Oh, shit. Girl, she is coming up like <laughs> Slap the shit out of you. baby Girlfriends. We already knew it from season two, but they're girlfriends. Nope, she's gonna help you anyway. <laughs> oh, she know. The first thing always happens in the same first episode. So it always has to happen. It's like tradition.
Yep, gotta wait for the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and you're not in uniform either. Uh. So fucking cute. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's too much. It's too much. Oh my god. Dang timing, you just leave her like <laughs> I gotta go. The one random one who just comes and stops so cute.
God damn. And that's what should be keto. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yes, the I can't sleep. <laughs> I also love the fact that they gave everybody in, in Speca a, a time to fucking speak because something tells me that's not going to happen with this season. We're not going to see them in every single freaking episode. So McQueen, Teo, everyone, this is the last time we're seeing them in this episode. I'm going to go cry in the corner after this. Hmm. so cute that they wait for each other fucking wives on my head. You worry? Okay. I'll just say she freaking looks like Mooney from the DJ. She sounds like her too. I I think she has her thing.
they literally was just like, yeah, we're putting all this in the first episode. You're not getting this again. <laughs> Pace yourself. Holy shit, she coming too. She ain't even fucking try. She just went like, but um, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Still slap the shit out of him. Oh my god.
thing is, does this girl even train? What you be doing on your off days? Cause like, oh my God. This hurt. Woo, okay. I think this was a perfect start for season three because, okay, let, let's go back to season one and season two. Like, special won her, her first one, her first race, like, instantly, right? And then, of course, Teo, duh. It is interesting to go into this season and, quote-unquote, break that curse and having Kita not win her race. So it seems like she's, oh, shit, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um it seems like she's an underdog and and I think that's what we're looking at this season this season feels like very much an underdog season because looking at season one season two and then also this season it is a little bit different it kind of gives me feels on how like and I cannot believe I'm going to compare this to this um going into love live going into season one of love live and then love live sunshine and all the rest but really more or less sunshine season two and how of course looking at season one of course that is about saving the school obviously and then season two is continuing for aqua's saving the school and unfortunately yes they are the group that is known for unfortunately not able to save their school and such even with everything they truly did. And that was an underdog season for them. I mean, truly, yes, I felt hella bad by the time the series was over. And I was just like, oh my God, like, yeah, all it is is this school is now memories for them. But they can take it and move on to the next school. And make more memories. And now, Kita, she is good. But of course, <laughs> homegirl came in not once, but fucking twice in two different races. And fucking demolished her. So we obviously know who is her front of me. Her biggest enemy of this season and such. I would like to see a lot of moments between these two. I do also like that, you know, Diamond with her, she's more in the supporting role for this. I really thought what it would have been like was both of them debuting at the same time. Even if they were on different teams and such, which they are but still supporting each other on every single race that they do, even up until a point where they have to go against each other. I think something like that would be really different. One, I mean, we've kind of seen it before, but at the same time, because these two are so freaking close, uh, their wives, every, every freaking girlfriends and every fucking season of the show, they're all fucking married. So yeah, they're married. I don't care what you say. They're married. Secretly. We all know they're fucking married. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to go. And of course, we know just the drama for it is Kita losing not once but twice. And so I really, truly feel bad for her. But yeah, this is truly like the underdog season for her. I never would have thought we got this, but I'm happy that we do have this because I was not expecting it. I really thought that she was going to just win because looking at the previously two seasons and such and how that's gone especially with the first episode because the the tradition and how it's gone and then boom and it's like you know happy happy <laughs> let's sing and dance and ish but we're taking a different step with this and i wonder how this is going to go like this is gonna be an interesting journey for her and i honestly cannot wait to see what all is in store for her from episode two to the ending of the series and such. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of season three of Pretty Derby. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all. I think this comes out on Wednesdays. Either Wednesdays or Tuesdays. I'm not really sure. But whenever it does. That's when you'll see me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.